Yo, what's up, YouTube? It is your man CP. Welcome to my YouTube channel. And uh, today we're going to be reacting to the origin of the Siren Head animation. Um, this dropped two days ago. SCP animated Tales from the Foundation. And basically, what Siren Head is is like a it's a monster with um a siren head. <laughs> Everybody's been on this little horror story, so. I'm gonna check it out. Um, I know they're making like a video game on it. We're gonna see what it's about because supposedly this thing's kind of scary as heck. And uh, quarantine day or quarantine has not been treating me so well. I need a haircut, as you can see. Like, it's getting bad out here. But, uh, anyways, we're gonna get into the video. Here we go. Okay. Of course, it would decide to come uh, back Hold up, what he's sipping on? Of all days. That's apple juice? No. Any foggy day is fair game. But today? If it was smart enough to keep track of time, I'd say it was mocking me. Ooh. It would have been easy to stay home that day. Maybe do something useful. Help pawn the fields. Or hang the washing up to dry like Ma asked. Oh, we went the back in time when so he was a kid. Warm and inviting. Okay. A perfect summer day like that couldn't be wasted. This is already creepy as heck. <laughs> but even then, there's a million other things a kid could have done in the farm, bathe in sunshine. Plenty of places I could have gone. Of course, they told us to stay out of the woods, but I always sneaked out, and they never stopped me. I thought Ma was paranoid. Who ever heard mm, of people mother disappearing in those woods? You are That's a the fool. kind of stuff you hear in children's books. Pa gave that indifferent listen to your mother nod whenever Ma brought it up. Probably too busy to care what she was lecturing me about. Despite it all, I figured this is real life. Not At some least he had a dog tale. with him going to the woods. There's nothing but critters and you mischief not see me there. going in there, though. What really Especially sent me into myself. the woods that day was naivete, bravery, and a girl named Caroline. Oh, I thought you were about to say Carol Baskin. Kill Baskin. Kill Baskin. Kill Baskin. Kill Baskin. about it all these years, I <laughs> can't quite put my finger on the moment things went wrong. Maybe I just wasn't alert or observant enough. Milo sure was, though. Good old boy. His walk got more and more tense, and he started oh, growling. He always did that when meeting new people, so it was easy to dismiss. By that time, we were getting pretty deep into the woods, and I expected her to pop out from behind a tree at any second. She was definitely nearby, but I what? couldn't what find her. What is she just doing in the woods? And then she started calling my name. Asking me to find her. Jackson, here. Jackson, oh heck no! Come. I'm out of there. Her voice was muffled. I'm sorry, I'm out of there. Or maybe she was just further away from the spot where we said we'd meet. She wasn't as familiar with the woods as I was, so I started to worry that she'd gotten lost, even though she didn't sound scared. I arrived at the meeting spot. Look at that smiley an old face. Stump Ugh. That kind of looked like it had a face carved into it. Mm. The woods were darker, the trees much taller and more dense, and there seemed to be fewer creatures around. It was quiet. No bird calls or squirrels scurrying up and down the tree trunks. I called to her a few times. That's not but normal. She just kept calling for me to come. Milo Ooh, was still on fits. edge, and I was yeah, starting he's to ready. feel tense, too. <laughs> that could have been when things went wrong. After a few minutes, I was worried that she had hurt herself and needed my help, so I went off in the direction of her voice, deeper into the woods. I called to her over and over, getting more concerned with every passing minute. The tree trunks were immense. And I can't say that the tales of people disappearing at the hands of a forest-dwelling monster didn't cross my mind. 
Ooh. In my head, I was preparing a speech to recite for Caroline when I found That should be a warning out. right there. Something about sending me on a wild goose chase through the woods and making me worry about her. She sounded like she was nearby, but something about her voice was freaking me out. Yeah, about in that I thought court. about turning back and calling it quits, but I felt like I was getting close. Then Milo started barking the loudest I'd ever heard him and darted back and forth around me. I panicked and backed up too quickly, tripping over a root and falling. A sharp Bruh. pain shot up my leg. L. From the forest floor, I looked up at the canopy, and my jaw dropped. Standing at at least 40 feet tall 40 was feet. the nastiest combination of man and machine I'd ever seen. What? Its arms and legs were so thin, I could see the outlines of veins and bones beneath the skin. There wasn't Ew. a bit of flesh on its torso either. It looked like a, a vacuum sealed skeleton. But the creepiest part vacuum sealed skeleton? was its head. Or lack of a head. There it Atop is. its neck were a pair of sirens facing in opposite directions. No eyes or ears, but it did have mouths inside those sirens. And as I looked up at it, Completely in shock, it turned down towards me and opened its mouths. It's about to eat you. Jackson! Jackson! Ooh. That's a siren hood. I scrambled to my feet and ran with all the strength I had. Milo bolted by my side, just as afraid as I was. Hearing the deafening sounds of trees cracking around me, their enormous trunks splintering and crashing to the ground. That's when the siren started blaring from the creature's head. My muscles burned and my lungs screamed for air as I burst through the clearing of our east field. Ma oh, was standing by the that. truck on the far side, her mouth open in disbelief. Man, I been like, you I'm sure she could have felt the ground Goodbye. shaking from a mile away. We out of here. Ma was already running towards me with a shotgun, but as he saw the horror Bruh. that came behind me, he stopped dead in his tracks. Eyes wide, he pointed to the entrance to the tornado shelter built under the house. I didn't think that was going to be enough to keep us safe from this behemoth, but my body was giving out. The pain in my leg from falling the woods was growing lord that stride. I put everything I had into that last stretch of my sprint to the shelter. Milo managed to keep pace, and Pa ran ahead to unbolt the door. Ma Whoa. broke out of a trance and scrambled towards the shelter too. The sirens blared on. Though ironically, there was no tornado. The door flew open and Pa dove inside. Milo leaped in ahead of me, and I stumbled in a few seconds later. It took a few beats for me to realize Ma hadn't come stumbling through the door behind me. What? She was running no. as quickly as she could manage, wild no. eyes staring right into mine, screaming the whole way. But the thing was faster than her. Its final step toward her shook the ground so intensely, I thought the house was going to come down on top of us. She was knocked off her feet, and its massive hand came down on top of her. Oh, crap. I looked away, but Pa was transfixed. I'd never seen such helplessness and pain on his face. Ma cried out my name as it lifted her up. Then turned to walk back towards the woods. Jackson! We couldn't do anything but watch. Bro, what the heck? My goodness. Milo, come on. We got an old score to settle. Ooh. There hasn't been a day in my life I haven't thought about that morning. Thought about that. He's that still living thing. at the same house where I would have been. How it moved our family. Ruined our lives. I've mourned Ma every day and never even knew what happened to her. How she might have died, whether it tortured her or not, or if it just kept her prisoner somewhere. I lost Pa that day too. He blamed me for the whole mess. Ooh. Started drinking and eventually left. Oh, All dang. these years, 
has been just you and me, Milo. And now we're going. Hey, Milo's to still finish alive, though. What's this. up? Wherever you've been all these years, I'm sure you've only hurt people, taken others who were loved, torn families apart. I bet nobody's tried hunting you the way you hunt people, though. And I bet I'm one of the only ones who ever got away from you. You know what that means? I know you. You are an and Avenger. I've got nothing left to lose. Sasuke I hope you're ready. It's not a dream, because I will make it a reality. I'm going to restore my clan and destroy a certain someone. <laughs> okay. Ready to meet your maker, Siren Head. Let him know. Jackson, Let him know. Come. You took my mother. You took Caroline. How many other voices have you stolen, freak? That didn't do nothing. <laughs> there we go. Oh, shoot. He slapped him. No, not Jackson. No. Same mansion moves very, very slowly, bro. <laughs> I noticed. Milo. Come, Milo. <gasps> no. Not Milo. Uh, anyways, y'all, that's it for the video. Um, yeah, pretty creepy. <laughs> and they're making a video game on it. Man, that's crazy. Jackson got killed at the end. And then little Milo, he got, lowered, he got killed too. So basically what that thing does is like it kills victims and then uses their voice to lure like their families in. That's kind of creepy. And uh, 40 feet tall? Forget about it. <laughs> but I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'm gonna see you guys next time. Peace out.